Let's go to Canamble in New South Wales, where Andrea Crothers, who has done an excellent job for us all week, and I really thank you for doing these, is sitting down with another Australian being affected by the drought, telling us her story about what it is like, because it's too easy just to sit here and talk about uh, drought funding and politicians and demanding all of those things as important as they are. We need to hear from real people with their experiences here. And Gabby Smith is a local in Canamble who sat down with Andrea tonight. Gabby, thanks very much for joining me tonight. Now, you've been in the wool industry for most of your working life. How did you get into it? Um, well, people started saying that I couldn't do it just because I was Sheila. So I put out a point that I could do it. And then I lived and knew with, like, near a few people that was in the industry. So I just said, hey, can you hook me up? And just sort of went from there. So what sort of stuff do you do when you go in the shearing sheds? I'm a Rousey. I work on the board a lot. Um, I work on the table as a wool handler. Um, I have did my tape course so that I can become a classer. Um, I'm learning how to shear very, very slowly. Yeah. Just whatever else. You went through, you're helping sort the wool after they come off the sheep. You're now looking at, you, well, you can now class the wool, but now you want to be a shearer as well. Just how good are you going? Well, I can say that I actually did my first whole sheep the other week. I wouldn't say I'm good, but I'm learning very slowly. <laughs> I remember my sister tried to teach me how to crutch, where you obviously have to get the wool off the butt of the sheep. And I was so bad at it, I could only get one side and the other half. You'd always see the sheep that I'd done because I had half a butt cheek of wool still sitting there. <laughs> right. Okay. Now, since then, you've been doing a lot of other contracting work. What sort of stuff have you been doing? Um, we have a header, so we do a bit of harvesting when there is crops to harvest. Um, I've worked on a sheep farm and a crop farm, so well, I just do a lot of sheep work there and when there is sheep work to be done. Um, we, I, me and my husband, we have an agriculture mechanic, so we go out and we do a lot of mechanic work on like trucks and tractors and just all diesel sort of stuff. But obviously what you love to do is in the sheds. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> now, since the dries hit, contractors, we know, everywhere have been finding it really tough because it is so hard to get that work when yep. people's money starts to dry up. Just how hard has it been for you having to try and find all these different areas to plug your own holes? I went from only working for one contractor to now having to ring up a few other contractors around the district. Um, a lot of them don't need, like they've already got their main staff, so they don't need a lot of other rouses, or they've got like their kids that can do it. So, Like their kids come back from boarding school on holidays and things? Yeah, mm -hmm. and then they just... Yeah, some of them just do it on their own just so they can try and save them extra money and... Yeah, but you do have... You like, I do get a fair bit of work, but not as much as what we would in a good season. So how do you and your husband make ends meet at the moment, particularly uh, when you've got things like a header that's been sitting there, not used for the last four years? Well, my husband works in the pub now, or in the Bucking Bull, and I work at the bowling club in Canerville. Um And they're just a, just a few other hand... like farm hands or whatever else, whatever he's doing, you just got to be, you just got to climatise to it, like you just got to... Adapt. Yeah, just do whatever needs to be done, really. Just how hard is it, though? <laughs> yeah, it's really hard. <laughs> like, it's really hard. You, you, well, I went all week this week with no work by the bowling club and it's just, there's, there's nothing around. What do you think when you've got your kids there? How do they cope with mum and dad trying to find different ways to make ends meet during the drought? They find it they find it hard, but they also find it interesting. Like it's hard being a mother and working so many jobs. Um, they also know that it's hard because if I don't work, then like that's one income that's not coming in. So they don't they don't get to do as much. They don't get as much. Like bills don't get as much paid and all that sort of stuff. It's yeah. Obviously, particularly the last few years around this area particularly has been rather tough. Do you see an end in sight? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't even think I know what the word rain means at the moment. It's, it's, there's no rain. It's, it's hard. It's obviously going to rain eventually. What do you hope to be doing? 
Righto. I hope to have my header in the crop soon. I hope to that there will be more sheep so then I can get into wool classing more. I hope that there'll be more sheep so I can learn to shear more. I, I'll, I'll have it work all week instead of having to work three or so jobs just to try and cover what I normally would get. Um, I wish I was, it was more there so my kids could learn it more because at the moment well, you can't really teach them anything because there's nothing really to teach them. In ag you mean? Yeah. yeah. And with that, what is it that you love so much about the wool industry and sheep? I love the You're a bit of a sheep lover. <laughs> yeah, I am just a little bit. I love the, the challenge. There is a lot of challenge. Like you go, you meet new people all the time or if you don't meet new people, you're always seeing constant different changes. It's not the same old thing every time. You're, you're out there and yeah, sheep may be dumb, but they are, they are good animals. Um. Well, Gabby, Australia was built on the sheep's back. I'm so glad that there are passionate people like you still out there doing such great things as you do. And I really cannot wait until you can be back in those sheds showing the boys how to shear the sheep just as good as anyone else. Yeah. There are a few good shearers out there that are females. It's very good to see. <laughs> That's the way. Good on you. Thanks very much. Back to you, Paul. How good is Andrea at finding amazing people, including Gabby Smith in Canamble? A massive shout out to her for all the work that she's put in and to Gabby as well. I love her first answer which is I do it because they said I couldn't because I was a Sheila. God love you.